Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Abba Shemel Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Nurse, and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan since they let. Little brother Makaza from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And, you know, this lesson, you know, would be entitled The World May Never Know. Alright, and the reason why I'm saying that because, as the scripture said, light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light. And, you know, really and truly, as it's also at, in, in that same said chapter, it says that um, the wind would well have it listed and men perceive not, so are them that are born of the Spirit. You know that the Lord, Yahabah Hashemir, had given us this word to come out and preach this ministry, even as he did in, in the former times when he was on earth. And they didn't understand, they didn't know that that was the Son of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. And even in this time, they can't acknowledge that this is the truth. They can't acknowledge that this is the truth. So they, they would never know. They, they, they rejected it, as the scripture said, they misused his prophets. All right, because why? Because they don't understand, they can't say, as the scripture said, make the ears of this people, you know, the heart of this people fat. Make their ears dull of hearing and the eyes, you know, dull of seeing. So they can't understand because the Lord Yahaba Shemel Shai had not given them the understanding to understand this word or the, the means to, to perceive this word and to acknowledge that this and truth and in fact is, is the true gospel. It says First Peter chapter 4 and verse 14. It says, If you be reproached for the name of Mashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of glory. And of Yahweh rested upon you. On their part, he is evilly spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. All right? How is he glorified? Because we know we speak in the truth. And how are we certain we speak in the truth? Because we've proven it precept upon precept and through um, you know, history and current days events. That is how we can break down the history and also the prophecies. All right? But two thirds of Israel, they just believe on, you know, on doctrine based on their emotions and what they feel and not necessarily to be true all right on traditions all right this is what they base doctrine on so when we speak you know they speak evil of us because they say we speak in you know heresies but you know yahweh Shah is glorified because as the scriptures have to be fulfilled you see you know, it says happy are ye if men you know you reproach you for his name if you suffer shame for this for the son of man's sake all right, so they speak evil of us, but you know, on 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 Yahweh Shai's part, we are glorified because we stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right, and that is what we had to do. We had to stand stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know, despite all odds, maybe against us. All right, this is Acts twenty four and fourteen. It says, "But this I confess unto thee." That after the way which they call heresy, because they call what we do heresy, all right, saying that only the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans could be saved because they are the house of Israel, saying that the Lord is dark skin, saying that the, the, the so called UFOs are chariots, saying that the Lord coming to destroy, you know, Edomites and enslave the other nations, all right, saying that his name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. These things they call heresies, but which things are proven to be true. All right, it says after the things which they call heresy, so worship I the Father, the um the Yahweh, the God of my fathers. All right, so that is how we worship the Lord, but they call it heresies, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. Believing all things written in the law and in the prophets. This is how we know that what we believe in is true and not just vain or, or, or blind faith. We believe because we could prove what we're saying. It's there in the scriptures, precept upon precept. And there's history and current events to back it up. But all you, you so-called Christians, all, all you run with is where you believe or where you, where you think to be true. And cannot be proven and easily refuted. Alright? Which shows that you the ones that actually believe or, or have blind faith. Alright? You're the ones that have blind faith that, that cannot be proven. Alright? Now, faith is good, but, but 
when you go out and somebody questions your faith, if you can't answer, then guess what? Your faith could be easily thrown over. All right? You believe wholeheartedly, but then when somebody questions your faith and you, 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 you don't have the answers for the questions, then you start questioning yourself. But the men of Great Millstone, guess what? They've been grown up in the scriptures to know the things that written in the law, the prophets, and to break it down. Comparing spiritual unto spiritual. Going into the laws, or breaking down the prophecies, because they occupy them time, their times in prophecies to understand this word. All right? And that is why the world will never know. That is why the world can never understand. Because why the scripture said in Revelation 1 and 3, blessed is he that read it. And they don't read. All right? They don't read. This is the book of Luke chapter 16 and verse... Um, I said verse 28. It says, For I have, this is instead of Lazarus and the rich man. It says, For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also should come into this place. So now he believes him because he now seen what will happen to them in the future. Because this is talking about when they're in slavery. It says, Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, Nay, my father, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, which they do not do, because they, they say that those, those books done away with, so they don't hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. So even if an angel came this and said, hey, Yahweh is his name, Yahweh is his son's name, they're still not going to believe. They're going to believe on their Christ. And Christmas and eating pork. Alright? Because that is the evil seed that was sown in them. So they will never know. Because the, 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 the glorious light haven't been shined on them. Because the Lord had put an angel to block their minds from understanding this word. And as the scripture said, This iniquity shall not pass except you die. The only time they will understand is, is the same shall be by death through pain. That is when they are going to learn. By death through pain. The world will never know. And I say the world talking about two-thirds of Israel. Alright? Two-thirds of Israel. The Lord, had, the Lord had sealed all things up. This is Matthew chapter 13 and verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And if you come to save the people, why speak unto them in riddles? And he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given. The Lord didn't give it unto them. He sealed their minds. He sealed their minds that they shouldn't understand. The Lord don't want two-thirds of Israel to understand this word. This is why they will never know. And this is why, as the scripture said, if a man be a heretic after the first and second admonition, reject. Lead a man alone. Lead a man alone if you don't want to understand this word. All right? Just leave him alone and on to the next. Alright? The Lord sent this word out for 144,000 men. Not for all Israel. Not for the whole world. Alright? They will never understand this. The final precept here. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. It says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. They are foolishness. He look at these things as foolishness. Only, only, only Israel can be saved. The Lord don't like white people. The Lord hate faggots. The Lord, the, the, the UFOs is, is, is what the Lord use it. The Lord don't like Christmas. The Lord wasn't born on Christmas. You know, these things, is, it sounds like foolishness to them. Because they, they bent in their ways. So the Lord, the Lord ain't out here to try to save two-thirds of Israel. He only out here for the elect. All right? It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So they're not spiritual minded. The things of the scriptures are spiritually discerned. And the scriptures say we compare spiritual unto spiritual, and you being natural or carnal cannot understand the things that are freely given unto us. All right? And I will only know it in the day of destruction. That yeah, these men were the men of the Lord, these were the prophets. That is why you're gonna be destroyed. 
because the Lord didn't give it unto you. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises on and glory to Abba Shimel Shai. And give double honors the apostles of great mercy not to rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope and saints say like. Is everybody a from Trinidad? Come saying Shalom and stay strong. Shalom.